Welcome to the AC Ant Room, home to three very large ant colonies. Each colony contains thousands and thousands of ants. With all of these ants and brood within these nests, surely there are hungry mouths to feed. And on today's menu, we have their favorite food item, cockroaches. In this episode of the Ants Canada Ant Channel, we will watch each of our three ant colonies, the Golden Empire, the Fire Nation, and the Dark Knights feeding on cockroaches, and even check out some of the other snacks they enjoy. Also in this video, we will announce the winner of our grand annual Ant Love Contest 2017, and reveal the winner of a brand new All You Need Omni Gear Pack, a complete Ants Canada Ant Setup. Today will be full of ant discovery and fun, so be sure to keep watching until the end. AC family, sit back, relax, and let's watch our ants dine in this thrilling episode of the Ants Canada Ant Channel. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon. Welcome to the AC family. Bon appetit. Today I wanted to present tonight's ant feeding session in a more natural and real light. So I figured for a change in this episode, we would observe the ants non-time-lapsed and with less editing, instead showing more intimate footage of the ants feeding so we can truly admire what happens when ants get busy at processing their food. First to be fed is our golden empire, our yellow crazy ants. It's been about two weeks since they've moved into this massive terrarium we call Hacienda del Dorado. It was a way to help them get rid of their body mites. It seems the ants now have the ability to dispose of their garbage appropriately, as I see them creating rubbish piles in locations away from the nest. Here are some discarded, uneaten Fire Nation elate body parts, and look, mites have found these piles to feed on. Unfortunately, I still see mites on the ants, but I do see some ants without mites, so we'll have to wait, perhaps a month or two more until the new generation of workers has completely replaced the initial mite-infected generation in order to truly determine if the move into a massive terrarium helped. You will see ants feasting here on some rotting mango as well as some raw honey. They've been working on this for two days now and are definitely craving for their protein. So here we go, dropping in a native Philippine cockroach. AC family, enjoy watching the Golden Empire feast. More workers are coming now. Word has reached the nest that food lays just a skip and a hop away. It isn't long before the roach is surrounded by many hungry Golden Empire workers. Some have completely abandoned the raw honey to come and help. Yellow crazy ants lack stingers. They instead spray formic acid and they're using it to subdue and kill this huge roach which, as you can see, is many times their size. Other workers keep the cockroach pinned down. It really is sad and kind of pains me to see that these Golden Empire workers still have mites. You can see them there on their bodies. They appear as little white bumps. But I know this colony is fighting. these workers trying to pull the cockroach by its antennae. Persistent little ones.
Now for those wondering, I feed all prey insects to my ants pre-killed, which means they have been crushed. This also means that their body parts still move because insects don't have brains like ours. They have ganglia, a grouping of nerve cells which run down the center of their body. This means then that even if you decapitate or crush a cockroach to kill it, it still moves. Okay, let's let them continue to grapple with this huge carcass and move on to our most aggressive and frightening ants. The Fire Nation. Our red tropical fire ants. As you know, we recently moved our fire ants into the fire palace, this deep rubbermaid bin full of soil, which they absolutely love. It has become the colony's main nest. Let's drop in a cockroach. This one is a no-brainer. It gets swarmed by ants in a matter of seconds. It isn't long before a thick carpet of ants covers this roach. Let's add another, shall we? Okay, and now time to head downstairs into the abyss to visit the new outworld on the silver glacier of our dark nights, our black crazy ants. Let's drop in a roach for these hungry and deserving ants. Let's reposition here so we can see a bit more.
In no time, the workers of the Dark Knights are all over this roach. Watch them feed eagerly from the cockroach's wounds. These black crazy ants waste no time. Every night, I feed these three kingdoms different foods. A varied diet is definitely the key to a healthy ant colony. The Dark Knights usually get one or two roaches, as does the Golden Empire. And the Fire Nation, being a lot larger than the other two ant colonies, they take 12. Or, sometimes I feed them pieces of cooked meat, like this chicken leg which we offered as their housewarming gift. And yes, of course I filmed it, but this needed to be time-lapsed because it took two days. Now I don't know if you remember, but a few months back, I caught a trap jaw queen ant and kept her in the dark and fed her, hoping she would give us eggs so we could start a colony of trap jaw ants. Well, I have an update, and you will be both shocked and super excited. And all of that to come in next week's video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week, AC family. It's ant love forever. All right, AC family, were you grossed out or was that cool? Inner Colony members, today's episode was a little taste of what you guys watch every week in our hidden videos. But of course, I still placed a hidden video for you here for extended footage of a cockroach being eaten by the Golden Empire. And now it's time for the AC question of the week. Last week, we asked, what is the name of the specialized workers in honeypot ants that store water? Congratulations to Regnarum, who correctly answered Aquapletes. Congratulations, Regnarum, you just won a free ebook handbook from our shop. For this week's question of the week, we ask What is the name of the groupings of nerves controlling movement in insects? Leave your answer in the comment section and you could win a free t shirt from our shop. Alright, and speaking of free stuff, as you know, we love doing fun contest giveaways to you guys, our AC family. And so last week, we launched our annual Ant Love Contest, where we asked the question, what is ant love to you? 
for a chance to win a free All You Need Omni Gear Pack. This year, we received over 1,700 entries on our official Facebook page. And so, as is our problem every single year, it was so hard for us to narrow it down to just one winner. There were just so many great entries that made us smile, made us laugh, made us go wow, made us go what the? Even some that made us tear up a little and warmed our ant-loving hearts. So here we go, after reviewing over 1,700 entries, a big congratulations goes out to our Ant Love Contest 2017 winner, John Poster, who wrote a cool ant poem which we have included in the info section of this video. Congratulations as well goes out to our runners up. You guys each have won a free ebook handbook from our shop. Thank you all for playing this year, and for those that didn't win, don't worry, as we are always giving away free stuff from AntsCanada.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week, AC family. It's Ant Love Forever.